okay, now let's have a meal in the dining room and the kitchen. Ignore everything around you. <laughs> this is our storage area. And I just tried to set a few things aside to show you a few pieces I picked up for the dining room. Again, let's go to the board first. And you see the board? Let's start a little bit in the kitchen. So what I've picked for the kitchen is a very creamy white color. It's called Pearl. And then I picked this rain color from an island. And you're going to see that rain color throughout my house too. I'm putting it in the master bathroom also. This is my most favorite light fixture going over the island. It's about two feet high by about a to almost two feet wide. It's going to look awesome. And I wanted to, for it to be able to be seen through because as you can see, it's going to go right in front of my custom hood. And I really didn't want to block my hood, but I did need almost a piece of art hanging down there. If you can see, I've decided to go with some open shelving here with some muttons in there, some X muttons for my cabinets. And you can see I've also pulled it over here in the butler's pantry too. We've taken our cabinets all the way to the ceiling and added quite a bit of crown molding at the top. Very excited about my kitchen. I think it's going to be great. We've decided to go with a quartz countertop, and it's called Ice Lake. And I think it's just going to be a nice, creamy, gray, white touch in there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And then we've got a really cool wood cutting board that we're having installed on the end there, too. I cannot wait to see the kitchen. And then you move into the dining room. We're going, we're going farm table. And here you go, my, one of my most favorite pieces from Ambella is this farm table. Great piece, fit easily 10, probably 12 people around it, and that's what's gonna be going in our kitchen eat-in space. Here are just some of the ideas for the, barn, for the kitchen area and the barn table, some of the accessories. I think you saw my chair. Before I told you I wanted to go more eclectic and not go with a matchy-matchy chair, so I pulled in this hand-painted chair from our house with this really cool fabric that is gonna be great for us because we eat a lot and my boys eat a lot and sometimes we spill. It's not gonna show a lot of stains. Honey, if you could show them the base of the table too. So love the base of the table. That just kinda, of, again, gives you that wonderful farm table feel. Over here, two pictures I got from Uttermost, these floating canvases. I plan on putting them on the wall, flanking each other, right next to each other. And I'm excited about using those. I think they're gonna be awesome. This color goes great with my scene and the color I'm putting on the walls and the black will be so strong in there. Got some wrought iron pieces. This is from our other house we used. Got these few wrought iron pieces over here. And then over here is an old clock that I've had for a, a while and I'll be using this. Either it's gonna be going over the buffet that I haven't purchased yet or going way up high in the cathedral ceiling area. So that's a little bit of our dining room. Can't wait to eat in there. I hope I'll be eating there on Christmas day, if not Christmas day and New Year's Eve. Next room, master bedroom and master bath time. Okay, so master bedroom and master bath, I want it to be more of a relaxing spa type of feel and I try to achieve that by the colors and the things I bring in. My master bedroom, I've decided to go with some really nice antique bronze gold finishing and some black accents. And so I'll show you that right down here. Here's the board again. So eventually we'll have the master bedroom built-ins here and it'll be this rain. Can you see that, honey, over here? It'll be the rain finish that I showed you we were gonna use in my bedroom. I'm sorry, in the kitchen. This is our chandelier over the bed. I talked my husband out of a fan. And it's all metal, however, it's been painted faux to look like wood. But if you use a wood chandelier, it just gets more and more expensive. These are the black pendants I'll be using instead of uh, bedside lamps. and. The side table in my bed is from Hooker, and this piece is also from Hooker. And here's the fabric. It's a fabric headboard, and then it's a black faux finished frame. Very excited about that. And then I'm bringing in some of my accessories to bring in the golds and the metals. So here, I just received this pendant in from Uttermost. If you can see, again, love this with the, with the antique bronze, the black finish, and the inside. How cool is that? So this is from Uttermost. Love it. This is an old mirror I've had for a while. It's from Roma. They make mirrors custom. Beautiful mirrors. These are from Uttermost. Love this. These are just nice accessories you pay a little bit more for, but if you combine them, get a few of these, and then you combine them with things you got from Kirkland and Home Goods, and it kind of raises up the look of everything else, such as these frames are from Home Goods, and that will be going throughout the room. So I'm very, oh, this is my bedding. Again, found it on sale at Pottery Barn. I looked everywhere for my bedding. I've had our, we've had our bedding for 17 years, and it was just threadbare and trying to get new. But I 
paid good money for it and it lasted for 17 years. So Pottery Barn also, beautiful bedding. It's called the Samantha Damask. Goes great, I don't know if you can see, with the rain. And in my bedroom, I'm also deciding to flip it up a little bit. I'm going to use the sea salt on all my trim and crown in there, and I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the walls. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit in there. And I think this will be beautiful with that. Now, welcome to my master bath over here. Master bath, if we talk about the board, using the rain over here on my cabinets, using this arabesque crackled tile from the tile shop all along the back wall of, the, of my vanity. My mirror will be able to show you. This is my lighting. If you get closer, honey, you can see it's a little bit of bling at the top there. And then I've got this beautiful polished nickel chandelier going in the center. I combined mainly chrome with polished nickel. And as I, we've already talked about this amazing clawfoot tub with the chrome feet. I am so excited about that. We're also going with marble in there on the shower. And then I'm using this Carrera quartz as my countertops. So we can kind of see a little bit of the stuff over here. If we, I'm gonna cross in front. This is my faux marble tile I'm using on my floor. It's not slick and it's not as expensive. So I saved quite a bit on that. Here's the, the marble that we'll be putting in the base of the shower. And then we're doing the marble subway tiles in the shower. My Lucite pieces next to my vanity. And this piece I found at my friend's shop, Glendy's in Kenosha this this weekend. I just thought it was a beautiful piece. It's a decanter from Italy. Love it. So this is the feel I'm trying to create in here. And this is the mirror that's going to go in the back over the arabesque tiles right here. And it's a hammered silver mirror. It's from Uttermost. Sorry, we had a little technical difficulty, but we're back, we're back now. My cameraman went down. So he's okay, though. This is a nude I found at Home Goods that I'll be using. I think it was $69. So it's, it's a great large piece of art, and it will look great on the walls in there. I also have some other pieces of art that I've not been able to pull out that I had in my other home, so I'm excited to use that. So that pulls the master bedroom mat to get and bath together. Even though I'm going with the chromes in here and more of the antique bronze in here, I'm pulling it together by using the same colors of the rain in the bookcases and the rain in my vanity there, and it will really flow together really well. So I'm excited about that. Okay, let's move to the next room now. Welcome to the mudroom now. No reason to take off your shoes, that's what it's for. So my idea in the mudroom is to go with my grays, my whites, my blacks, and a touch of red. And so I just showed you, I have a few pieces here on for my mudroom. The first one is my lighting. I'll be able to show you that up close. And then this is just the feel I'm kind of trying to go with, a rustic farmhouse feel in there. And this is from Kalalu. If you're looking for that rustic farmhouse feel, this is a great line to go to. So go online and check that out. So over here, now we'll show you, again, ignore everything around you. This is the light I got from Uttermost, the pendant, that's going to be hanging three of those in the mudroom. This is so fun. This is my tile, my concrete tile that I'm using. You can see how thick it is, so we're going to have to slowly raise the wood floor up so there won't be a threshold to go with this. So this is the concrete tile that I've kind of based everything on. Now, if you come in my mudroom, you, that means you know our garage code. That means you know us well enough. That means we're close enough to you. So I thought when I saw this piece of art, I thought it was perfect. So anyone that comes to my mudroom is probably like family to us. And it says, you're pretty much my, my most favorite of all time in the history of ever. Love this. So usually the people that know our garage code, that's how I feel about them. These are our Brad and I's office chairs, these Lucite chairs. Very excited. And we have picked out a honed black granite top to be our desktop. And we're just gonna put two high, uh, shell, two high vertical files underneath there. So really industrial feeling, not an actual desk itself, but just a granite top with some files underneath it. This is of course, you saw the cow picture, a red bulletin board and just some other things. We have always kept the height of our boys, so I'm excited to add them onto our yardstick there. This is from Kirkland's. A lot of this other stuff is from Home Goods. So that's our mudroom.